Well, Zach had been in a coma for about a month uh, when we got a call from the doctor to let us know that they'd done about all that they could do for Zach. Uh, ultimately, God gave His only son for us, and so it kind of brought me to consider the same prospect that maybe God was calling me to lay my son on the altar. So I had COVID pneumonia, incredibly scarred my lungs. Like I'm alive from a, because of a direct intervention from God. Uh, so my son plays travel baseball, and so we've been playing on this team, and there's a couple guys that coach, and Sean and Greg, good fellas. But I've been trying to get Greg to come to church. He's like, nah, man, I'm Catholic. I was like, I don't care if you're Catholic. You can just come hang out with us one Sunday. So every once in a while, I'd be like, I'd invite him to church and he would politely decline. Well, he hears that I'm in the hospital. So I wake up. And when I get to my mind, Jessica goes, you'll never believe who's been coming to church. I was like, who? She's like, Greg. I said, so I had to almost die to get you to come to church? He goes, yeah. And sure enough, he's been there ever since. So if the Lord came, if, if the Lord spoke to me in December and said, how bad do you want, do you want Greg to come to church? I mean, th is there another way? No, 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 this is, this is what would have to happen. What would you say? God has called us to trust in a person, not an outcome. We can pray and ask for an outcome. Trust that he, if He gave His only Son for you, how much more would He give you all things that you need? This is the kind of Father we serve. Because you love that man enough to die for him, and you've called me to be like you. So will I love him enough that if I have to die for you to get through? Okay.